Good morning. It's Ron Brown from Tech for Seniors. This is learning Chromebooks. Today's topic is understanding Google Drive on your Chromebook in 2021. If you like this video, please click the like. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you know the routine. Click the subscribe and hit the bell. Now let's get on with the video. Learning Chromebooks is a tutorial that is broadcast each month on the third Thursday. Now we do require registration and you can register at www.techforsenior.com. When you go to the site, you will see uh, a link on the top of our site registering for learning Chromebooks. You only need to register once. Once registered, we'll be sending you a reminder about a week before each session begins. So you only need to register once for the series as long as it goes. So hopefully, hopefully you'll enjoy today's program. So you've been to the store and just bought your first Chromebook. The salesman says, don't worry, Google Drive's included. You get home, you open the box, you take out your shiny new Chromebook and you look for the Google Drive. There is no Google Drive in the box. You wonder, where is my Google Drive? All right, let me explain what Google Drive is and how it works. Google Drive is part of your Google account. Remember last time at our last session, we talked about what is a Google account? Well, when you sign up for a Google account, you get Google Drive and it is free. No charge. This is really crazy good. All right. So what is Google Drive and what am I talking about? Well, Google Drive is, first of all, 15 gigabytes of cloud storage. So you now have with your account with Google, you have 15 gigabytes of storage in the cloud that you can store data. But it doesn't stop there. It continues on. And it also includes a suite of software. Yes, a suite of software with lots of things that you can do. And again, it is all free and included with your Google account. There's Google Docs. It's like Microsoft Word. It's an advanced word processor. We have Google Sheets. Yes, it's like an Excel spreadsheet. And we have Google Slides. Same as PowerPoint. And we have Google Forms. Google Drawing, you can even make maps with Google My Maps. And of course, my favorite is Google Sites, because within 15 minutes, you can produce and have online a website. Google Sites is so easy to use, it takes seconds to develop a website and publish it. This is how Tech for Seniors website was built, Google Sites. All of this is free, and that's what we mean when we talk about Google Drive. It's the cloud storage plus the suite of applications that you get with your Google account. Now, uh, your Google account can be used on any device. It can be used on a Windows 10 device. It can be used on Apple devices, Linux devices, anything that you can use as an electronic device, Google Drive can be there. As I mentioned before, Google Drive can be accessed on any device. But today we're going to talk about your Chromebook because Google Drive is an integral part of your Chromebook as we're going to explain. Now Google Drive software can be accessed in two different ways. First of all, it can be accessed through your browser, and that's how you would access it on any of those other devices. But on your Chromebook, you actually have apps. All those software programs I discussed recently are now apps on your Chromebook. So it's already done for you. Another good reason to have a Chromebook. Let's see how this works. All right. I'm going to go to Google Drive on my Windows 10 PC so you can see how it's different 
than your Chromebook. So let's start with my Windows 10 PC. Now you can get to Google Drive in two ways. You can go to www.drive.google.com and log in. Or you can click the nine dot menu up in the top right hand corner and click on Drive, the, the icon for Google Drive, and that will enter you into your Google Drive in the cloud. So let me show you how this works. And we're going to create some files and save them and see how they look on our Chromebook. Let me show you how it's done. All right, here you have us uh, at our Google Drive. And we're going to come down and we're going to click New. This is on my Windows 10 machine. So when we click New, you'll see we have the option of creating a new folder. We can upload a file or we can upload a folder from our uh, Windows 10 machine. Once we're here, we can uh, create a document. We can create a sheet. We can create a slide. Or we can create forms. And if we click more, we can come down and we have more options, uh, including Google Sites, where we can create our website. So let's go back to a folder, and we're going to create a new folder. Okay, so we're going to click New. We're going to come to Folder, and it's going to say New Folder. And we are going to create one called Learning Chromebooks Demo. But I have to learn how to spell Chromebook. There we go. Create. So now we've created a folder called Learning Chromebooks Demo on our Google Drive. Let's open the file or folder, come back to a new file. We're going to, we're going to create a document. We're going to create a Google Doc. Now I filled in some information here and I've labeled it Samsung Galaxy Pro Buds. I've added this as part of our document. Now you don't have to save it. Anything in Google Drive you do is automatically saved. So we labeled it and we call it Samsung Galaxy Pro Buds. Okay, so now I have created some documents within Learning Chromebook Demo. Remember this is the folder that we have created and it is on our Google Drive in the cloud. I created this on my Windows 10 PC. We're going to open up this folder and I've created three um, I've created three different types of documents. The first and I've come up the first document is a spreadsheet. This is called Google Sheets. This is the same as Excel. If you come up to the new tab here we click new you'll say you'll be able to um, to, uh, to create a, a new blank spreadsheet or from a template. Now I've already, to save time, I've already created a uh, Excel spreadsheet, or I, sorry, I should say a Google Sheet, and this is what it looks like. And I've saved this uh, uh, on, our, on our Google Drive in the folder called uh, Learning Chromebooks Demo. Now, uh, remember we also created a document. Uh, this again was created as we come up to new. We created a Google Docs. This was a document and we called it Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy Pro Buds. If we open this, this is a document that we have created. And again, this is, uh, this is on Google Drive and it is uh, in the cloud. And the third thing that I created, again, if you come up to New, we're going to click this and we're going to come over to Google Slides. We can create a new presentation or from a template. I've created and imported uh, from a PowerPoint presentation. I imported this into uh, Google Slides. Let's open this up and see. And this again is, um, is Google is Google Slides. 
which which works exactly the same as your PowerPoint presentation in, in Microsoft. So these are the uh, three documents that I've created. We're now going to um, go over to our Chromebook and see how these documents look on Google Drive in our Chromebook. All right, now this is on my Chromebook. This is when I've opened my Chromebook up. This is our sort of home page. The bottom you'll see we call this the shelf. And over the, to the left, that little button's called the launcher. We now launch and you'll see the five apps here. These are five of the most recent apps that you've loaded. If you click the up button, then you'll come to all the apps you have on your Chromebook. And if you look now, you're going to see the three, um, app, the three services, Docs, Sheets, and Slides that we saw on our Google Drive in the cloud. But these are now apps that are pre-installed on your Chromebook. So I'm going to right click on Docs because I always like to have these pinned to the shelf. And I'm going to pin that and you'll see now it comes down to the shelf. I want them more accessible so I don't have to keep going up. We're going to um, do Sheets. We're going to pin this again to the shelf. And you'll see now the Google Sheets is down on the shelf. And we are now going to pin the Slides program to, or Slides app to our shelf. So now we have Docs sheets and slides pinned to the shelf of our Chromebook for easy access. Okay, we're now back at my Chromebook. This is the shelf and we're going to go to the Files app. I always like to have the Files app attached to the shelf. Okay, we're going to open this and you'll see some uh, folders on the left hand side. Let's just enlarge this. And at the top, you'll see four folders. They say Recent, Audio, Images, and Videos. These are folders that are um, available for you, and they take your Chromebook takes the files that you download into your downloads directory and sorts them into these four directories to make it easier for you to find your files. So this is the Recents one. If you click Recent, it will pick up all the recent files in your downloads directory. Because all your files on your Chromebook that you down onto your hard drive go into the downloads directory. Again, there's audio, images, and videos. So any pictures or videos, you just click on that and you'll be able to find your uh, files that you want. But if you come down a little bit farther now, we'll come to My Files and you'll see our downloads directory. Uh, this is like the C drive on a Windows uh, on a Windows 10 machine. I don't have an SD card in my Chromebook, but if you did have an SD card, this would be where you would see it right under Downloads. Now, as we come down, you'll see I also have Linux files and run Linux on my Chromebook as well, and this is where the Linux files reside. So this is the downloads directory and those are the Linux files. And then you're going to come to play files. Play files are, are a folder where uh, any of the Android apps that you've downloaded onto your computer and they store any files, they will be in the play files section. Now you'll see that my Chromebook has been linked to my Google Drive, but I also have it linked to OneDrive. Today we're going to talk only about Google Drive, so this is uh, will come up and we're going to click the Google Drive. And this is going to take us to uh, our Google Drive and guess what? There you see at the top of the list is Learning Chromebooks Demo. This is the folder that we made on our Windows 10 machine and we uh, made it in Google Drive, but of course uh, we are looking at Google Drive now through our Chromebook, and there is the folder. Menu, we'll open this up, and let's open the um, Google Drive directory here. Let's let's go to Google Drive, which remember, Google Drive, the, your Chromebook has become connected to the cloud. So we open this, and we're, uh, we connect to our Google Drive, and look what we see. <clears throat> we see Learning Google Chromebook Demo. 
Remember we made this on our other machine that was um, uh, Windows 10. But let's say we want to, now we want, might want to work on this a little bit later. So we click on it and highlight it and we come up to the top here and it says available offline. And what we do when we click that button, that actually downloads the file, uh, downloads the file into the offline directory here so you can see it and work on it offline on your Chromebook. When you get back online, it will replace the file on Google Drive and sync it. Let's look at, suppose for a specific file, though, that was for the whole directory that would include all three files, but say you just had one file that you wanted to um, make sure that you uh, looked at offline. So this is our Samsung Galaxy Buds. Remember the uh, file that we created. And if we come now and we open and we open the file edit menu, you will see the uh, offline option. It's just going to come up here in a second. And um, it should, there we go, uh, make available offline. We click this and we'll turn that on. And if you look down at the bottom left hand corner, you'll see it's being downloaded and it's available offline. We're going to come back now. So this would be available for your Chromebook. You could work on it. You wouldn't need to be connected to the internet and it's going to remain offline. So let's go back one more time and we're going to go to file menu and let's just uh, let's bring up the um, uh, the uh, two-factor authentication slides or I guess it would be like a PowerPoint. We're going to bring this up as a um, as a uh, as a file again remember we created this on our Windows 10 machine and we're going to come over we're going to click on file and again you're going to see as we come down there will be the make offline and we can click on that and we'll just make that offline so that's how we uh, make folders and files offline so they actually are workable on your Chromebook and then when your Chromebook resyncs uh, back to the internet, it would uh, sync the files back up so they're the same. In summary, Google Drive is your cloud storage and suite of applications. Your Chromebook has pre-installed the apps to get you going. And finally, your Chromebook can be used without an internet connection as any other laptop, and it will update Google Drive when it is connected. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Seniors. I hope to see you next month on Thursday, the third Thursday of the month. Have a great day and stay safe.